What's going on guys? Sophisticated here bringing another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're in the mid lane, we're up against Azerath. He took Flash and Teleport, running Comet. We're having a little dance party here with this Fiddlesticks. He's uh, yeeting. We're dancing with him too. But yeah, we're up against Azerath. This should be an interesting game. I think that their jungle is auto-filled. Either that or he just has no games on uh, Jarvan. But also, I think our jungle is auto-filled because this guy also Minions has no games has on gone. Fiddle. But yeah, we are riding a very unlucky three-game loss streak in Diamond. So potentially, if we lose this game, we might end up demoting. But not worried about that. We're going to give it our best shot here. They do this. The only thing that really sucks is this Ash with the, the exhaust. Because they're relatively squishy. Like, all their carries are very squishy. So as long as I don't int over a bunch of kills or XP to this guy and let him get super far ahead of me, should be a very winnable match. Dodging that first ability is very good. I'm going to take my E just in case if he does step up to the wave. But I also want this guy to be pushing me in here. So I don't want to look to hit it too much. But if we can get a nice little electrocute trade on him like this, absolutely worth it for us. Huge, huge trade for us. Look at that. Chunked him out pretty hard. Eh, it wasn't great getting hit by that. If we could have avoided getting hit by that, it would have been a really good trade for us. Should be able to snag this one, though. Not too bad here. You always want to, like, whenever you're up against this Aerith, you want to position away from the wave. Because you want him to have to decide whether he want, he's going to hit you or the wave. Make him make a choice, right? All right, not too bad. He's pushing us in just like we want to be. Once we get our level three, that's where we can really look to trade with this guy. Might be able to zone him off of a couple minions there. All right, eight to six. He should be hard smashing us in CS early. Just the nature of the beast here. Getting hit by that isn't too bad. The biggest thing is you just don't want to get hit by the center of it. All right, as long as we're not taking too much poke early. Free level three. I think we're in good shape here. Now that we have our level three, I'm absolutely going to zone him off of this minion. Get a big trade on him there. Almost can ignite him here. Yeah, he's going to have to TP in. So we're going to have him burning his TP super, super early. And if he greeds and comes back to the wave, we'll be able to kill him. He's going to miss a whole wave here almost. Because this is a big stacked wave. So even though we don't kill him, we're going to come out extremely far ahead here. We just got to make sure we get our last hits. We should be good. Nice, there's his TP. I'm going to look to potentially trade with him here. The only bad thing is we have a fiddle jungle who face, I mean, isn't super gank heavy early. He really relies on his level six. But we have a little bit of a advantage over this guy right now. Ooh, I'm super surprised that actually hit me. Nice, you dodge out on the Q though. I'm gonna try to rotate to this, but I think fiddle's just dead. We might be able to do something here though. I might be able to kill the Ash. I'm going to flash onto the Ash and just Igniter. I think we die here for sure. Not the greatest, but we do get a kill. Definitely not the greatest. I mean, Fiddle getting caught there was pretty much the reason that all went sour. Senna dying there is pretty terrible. This guy got two stacks on his Dark Seal because he actually grabbed a Dark Seal on his Teleport. We're up on him in CS, though. Just an amazing play by Jarvan. Really, really good play by Jarvan. Our top lane's up super hard, though. That's really good. Once we get level 6, we should be a lot more effective in this lane. I just want to hard shove this. Because I think the wave is actually shoving into him anyways. So I need to make sure he's going to miss some CS. I'm going to come stop this guy's back. I'm not letting him back for free here. I don't think he can really do much to me. And I think... Might be able to come look for a play here, actually, on these guys. Jarvin's for sure rotating down, but... Uh, no, it's not worth it. I come mid. This guy has no teleport. We're up on him by a little CS. But like I said, it's pretty much just going to be us. We're not going to have any help from the fiddlestick early. Really thought that guy would throw his ability out. We're dodging a lot of this guy's stuff, though. Other than that stun, of course. Cannot help this guy very much. I don't have any uh, mana. He gets that for free. I wonder if... I 
I don't know if this guy actually got that, but he's he actually soaked up a lot of my time. Our bot lane. It really sucks. I'm actually down a lot of XP to this guy off of that death from uh, J4 at the Dragon Pit. Our bot lane is getting kind of beat up very hard. I also don't even have enough mana to go for a solo kill once I hit level 6 here. But it's all good. We scale. Warwick's going incredibly ham. A little bit too ham up there. He's proxying. All I can do is just ping him. Because for sure they're going to come for him. I wonder if there's any fruit over here. I'm a little low. Bot lane is fighting a lot. I'm just going to hard shove this because they're going in on the Warwick. So if I can just push that out. Warwick's coming in with ult. I'm going to come up here. I wish I had flash, man. If I had flash, I could probably look to do something here for sure. Nah, we can't do anything there. I don't think we go. This guy's missing. He's going to ult this guy for sure. He's absolutely looking for an ult play. I'm going to spam ping these guys. That's all I can really do. If I was there, the Zareth, I'd be looking for the Warwick. All right, let's try and hard shove this, and I think we'll look for a little reset here. Actually, I cannot reset right here. I have to shove this wave. Which sucks because this guy just got a buy-in, right? So he's going to be coming back very strong. So his tempo is going to be a little bit better than ours. I have to reset here. I can't, I can't grab those uh, caster minions. Because if this guy hits me with a stun combo and his ult, he'll kill me. I'm only down a little bit of CS. I'm going to go back with the Luden's Rush, boys, because I was looking at stats. I know I did Lich Bane on uh, a couple of these games here that I've lost. I tried the Lich Bane Rush again. But I was looking at stats, and the Luden's Rush actually has a 60% win rate compared to like a 52% win rate with the Lich Bane Rush. So I think this is the play. Yeah, there's the Zareth. Hopefully he doesn't get a free kill. He definitely could with his ult. But if he doesn't, I can maybe shove this wave in. I can miss some CS and XP. Honestly, I think I'm going to look... Oh, crap, man, that sucks. That guy grabbing that early dragon. I can't really contest that. These guys got to be careful. He's right here. Yeah, it would have been nice. I mean, our fiddlestick is hard out farming the, uh, the Jarvan, but him getting the dragon is very nice for the enemy team. I think Zara's just going to TP back in. I'm just going to hard shove this. Try to get it. Force his TP. Warwick's going ham. That's our one saving grace right now so far this game. I mean, I think I'm farming really strong this game. 58 to 67. I might even be able to get some plates here. We do have the Void Grubs here. Bot lane's getting gone in on down there. I might be able to counter this. See how low is Ezreal? He's not low at all. Are they any of them low? Oh, I'm standing on a control ward. <laughs> wow, this J4 is just kind of smurfing. I might be able to catch him here, though. Yeah, he's toast. Might be able to kill these guys. Got the exhaust out of this guy. I'm going to ignite him. I was hoping we'd get a uh, big play out of them. Out of my bot lane. It's all good, though. He's going to take out my control ward. Not much I can do about that. I grab a blue buff from... The J4, and I'm only down 4 CS to the Zareth. I am pretty low here in terms of health. So I have to be a bit careful. I mean, if he steps up without his uh, stun there, I might be able to... Jesus, man. Our bot lane is really not doing too well here. I'm honestly very low. He hits me with a couple more abilities. He could kill me. I have to just reset here. Bro. I'll try, but... Shut down. 
Do you have ult up? You don't even have ult up. This guy is hard freaking me. I'm gonna die here to this guy. If he just ults me, I'm screwed. I thought for sure that dude had ult. Okay, I guess I just dodge every single one of his ults. I thought for sure my fiddlestick had ult. That's on me, kind of. I should guess I should have looked. But yeah, he definitely baited me there. Let's grab that. Can't really grab anything else. This Warwick did go down in the Tom Kent was just kind of crazy because he was ahead of him. It's a TP out of this guy. I have ult, but no ignite. If I had ignite, I would just look for a solo kill onto this guy. These guys got to be careful. I have ult. This guy should be a free kill anytime Fiddle has like anything up, honestly. I just can't look for him myself here. He's just too far back in the lane. Without Ignite. If I had Ignite, it'd be a different story. Dude, he does a lot of damage. Might even be able to look for this guy. I think he's over here on this Void Grub take. Yeah, he's taking it here. That lands, but I think he just dashes over. Look for this guy. This guy's free. Oh, come on, bro. He ulted nothing. The Warwick did. I mean, if it gets us the grubs, that's fine. But yeah, that should have been a kill for sure. This guy's really coming back over. That should be for sure a kill. I'm saving my W. No, I was about to say, no way that guy survives, right? I don't have... That's going to be all you, brother. I have no mana. Our bot lane is just getting hard smack, man. Good thing is the support Ash is the one getting all the kills. It's not even close. Yeah. That's the only bad thing with Zareth, man. He just gets free kills if your like, team is bad. And since our team is 0, you know, zero 4 right here. We have a full lethality bot lane, but it's all good. Like, they are squishy, all of these guys. So as long as I can stack up some Dark Seal stacks and just stay relevant in the game, XP-wise, we should be able to do something here. We should be able to contest this dragon. We need to take this. This thing, this dude is so tanky, man. The Jarvan. We can't take it now. That sucks, man. Our bot lane is really not respecting Jarvan being there. Yeah, there he is. Like, these guys are so terrible. Just run. The Zareth is for sure looking for an ult play down here. My best, like, bet is to just pressure him in. Push the wave here. That definitely didn't hit me right, but okay. Has been slain. I'm going to see if I can't An bait this guy. By coming over here. Maybe he goes to hit this Scrying Bloom. And I can look for an all-in. Um, I think it's probably better than me. Just rotate down at this point. We need Senna's consistent damage here. <laughs> You're going to die. Like, he's going to just all in you. I think I just come over here. If he doesn't have flash, he's dead. It's a great kill for me. Get the dragon. Get a nice little kill. I think I head mid because he's shoving that mid wave in, that Ezreal is. Warwick is very strong. So that's a nice little thing for us. But this Ezreal's pretty strong as well. All right, not bad. I think I get a reset in here. Our bot lane just is perma pushing. They don't ever like respect anything about the enemy. And then they just die down there 2v1. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, boys. Hopefully at some point our, our bot lane stops being terrible. Warwick's drawing a lot of power or a lot of uh, 
attention there. I think I reset here. I have 1,200, so by the time I reset. I have ult in 16. I might be able to look to make a play here if they, if I can bait the enemy to stay here. I think you're dead, brother, if you uh, stay too much longer. All right. I dodged most of their abilities. I think I just hard shove this. And then get a reset. I don't like this guy taking that. That's so crazy to me. He's 4v1 and he gets a kill there. Wow, that's crazy. That's super good. Our bot lane needs to be pressuring this tower and they have no one there. Dude, if we had even a like a semblance of a bot lane here, this game would be very free. I have to play it kind of safe here. Might be able to kill this guy though. No, nope, not with Zareth there, man. Oh, if it wasn't for Zareth, well, I might be dead here myself. I am dead here for sure. Jesus, bro. Our bot lane is so useless, man. So useless this game. And then they're just gonna walk down here and die. So crazy, bro. I also had Senna ult up that whole time. She could have ulted me. We have so many ults available and we're not using any of them. Bit of a shame, bit of a shame. This guy's very strong. I'm still keeping up with him decently, but yeah, his team is just getting, he's getting a lot of plays all just off of his team. Let's see, though. They are very squishy, man. It's just they have a lot of CC between the Ash and the uh, J4 and Xerath. A bot lane potentially going to die here. Enemy killing yes. Th I'm telling you, this guy is so god-awful, man. Honestly, just our bot lane in general is pretty terrible. Pretty sure this guy should be dead. Might even kill this guy, too. It'll be close. Now nah, I'm gonna die here. I got a flash. Bro. That is pretty tragic, man. I just do not have much of a team at all. This guy... It's, it's just our top laner. We only have a top laner. So we'll grab tier 2 boots. What's crazy is that, like, Senna is so strong, too, like, as a champion. Figures, the one time I get a Sinnoh on my team, she's uh, completely useless. It'd be nice for you to go for something here. So try to bait out a Z there. Maybe I can do something with my ult up. Nah. Your turret has been destroyed. Senna. Senna's not looking here at all. It's all good. I'm going to try and get this mid lane tower. Oh, this Senna is so incredibly god awful, man. Zero six with Boots of Swifties and still just getting caught out and killed. Kind of sucks. We just have no playmaking potential because of the Senna. Like, if we had a support who could, like, CC people, we'd be in a pretty decent shape. I mean, we might. I just don't feel like we have the damage to kill that guy. But if we could get a pick on him, it'd be pretty huge. This should be a dead Tom Kinch. Oh, man. Might eat it and make it over the table. I got a song just to try and stay alive. No, nope, I was just CC'd the whole time. We might win this. Okay, that was pretty good. And it might turn into a dragon. No, Fiddle's dead. They could just steal. I'm telling you, man. Our bot lane, this Senna, is so useless, bro. Completely not in the game. I mean, we could potentially do this. Jarvan's up an eight. I have never seen a more useless support. This Ash is just completely hard gapping her. 
Darwin and Ezreal might be able to make it to this. Just stay on this. Just stay on this. He's going to steal it with his... Nice. Thank goodness we get that. I don't even think we fight it. This guy kites into me. He's toast. So close, man. Well, kind of good that I didn't go for that because Ezreal's there and Warwick was taking the camps. Getting that dragon is so massive, man. I mean, it's good for the defensive stats and it just helps us get closer to a dragon soul, potentially. I mean, if he can go for that guy. I'm going to come over here and just kind of zone this guy away from... Nah, we don't go for that. I have to dodge that or I die. Uh, he still might be toes here. I'm just going to go for this guy and try to burst one of them. Go, 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 go. So big. I'm going to just stay on this guy. So Zareth, or not Zareth, but Varus doesn't potentially die. I'm looking for the Ezreal. Gonna hop over. Probably kill her here. I'm gonna die for sure for it, potentially. Oh, I survived. Fail, boys. I think that was a TP from Tom Kinch. I don't know how I survived that, but we'll take it. I'm just gonna E away. Get the hell out of here. I'm going all the way back to just in case if Ash throws an arrow. All right, that was pretty good for us for sure. This guy's got a soul sealer though. We did just kill him. Let's grab that. That's huge for us. Yeah, Zareth is kind of annoying at this point in the stage where he's very strong. Like early game, it's decent, especially into a ganking jungler. But we don't have, we didn't have a ganking jungler. Sad enough. I think we have to come try this. This guy's down here. We have to come contest this. They're for sure on it, yeah. That's sad. Just their bot lane, man. They they didn't even have Ash there. Very, very sad, man. They just have a much better ADC and uh, support, in my opinion. Jungler or two. This guy's making a lot more plays around the map. This chick has got to be careful. Warwick's over here. I'm just hoping I can catch someone greedy walking through here. It's gonna be real hard to kind of take a fight though. It's our strongest member is nowhere near us. Actually, I might be able to make a play here if this guy, if he walks crazy. Nice, that's big. Killing that Ezreal there is pretty big. I mean, it's not gonna lead to anything. But it's still big. Allows me to get all this farm down here for sure. It's a big wave. Didn't get the cannon. Got the XP for it though. Works pressuring. Our bot lane needs to pressure that mid though. Still same level as Zareth, so that's good. But him having... Oh, he's only got two stacks on his soul sealer. That's really good. I guess we killed him right after he bought it. I think Warwick might go down there. There's a lot of CC on him there. But if I can just keep pressuring. I think Fiddle might be looking to go help him. All right, J4 is here. That's good, though. I got J4 here, so he's not going to be messing with our team. Get the mid lane pick up there. Honestly, we might even be able to get him. Go in on that guy, Fiddle. You don't go for the... Nice. I want to try and wrap around and kill this guy. This is free if my team comes. If we kill this guy, it's also very big. I wonder if this guy uses... Um, that's pretty huge. I think we come do Drake. It should be a free dragon here. It's a free dragon for sure. They have four people that are going to be dead. 
And that sets us up for soul. Hopefully these two don't die. So long as they don't die, this is massive for us. Mountain Soul is one of the best, too, because it's just a giant free shield to help you in team fights. We're going to take this so slow. Me and uh, this guy, hopefully their jungler doesn't come contest. He could make it over here for sure. I think I just saw him on the map, though, so we should be good. Pretty huge. Do some sweeping. Maybe somebody's coming down here looking for Varus. The way Ash is shadowing. If not, I'll try and soak this whole wave. I actually think we might be able to come kill this guy. I might be able to catch the Zara trying to rotate to this. Oh, I dodged the sun. It's a kill. Perfect, boys. Perfect. All right. Warwick us up there. I think they get both kills there, too. I don't see how Ezreal makes it out of that alive. With Sinnoh there. We keep Siege in here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's four people dead. I don't have Lich Bane, but we have all the Void Grubs. We may be able to end here through both waves. It'll be very close. I don't have any mana, but... Tom's down for a hot minute. We may be able to rush this, boys. If we can end here, that's so big. We just secure our diamond. Let's go, boys. Hit the hit the thing. Hit the thing. Hit the Nexus, fellas. Let's go, fellas. There it is. We, we are not demoting today. All right, fellas. Is mid versus Zareth. Take the after action after this. All right, fellas, it's the after action for the game we just played against that Zareth mid. Yeah, this was a good game. I absolutely needed this. <laughs> I think for sure if we would have lost this game, we probably would have ended up demoting because we were at Diamond 4, 0 LP, and we lost two games at 0 LP already. So I'm surprised that we actually didn't demote. But first things first, let me give a massive, massive shout out to our uh, Warwick. This is a 1v9 performance. As you can see, all of us all did around the same amount of damage. Then there was Warwick. Even the enemy team, like... You know, 20,000 damage, you know, 9,000, that's pretty pitiful, you know, 18,000, 16,000. So we're all close, you know, right around the same range. Ezreal popped off a little bit, but yeah, this guy hard carried the game. I really like this build. A lot of times you'll see the Warwicks go full, like, you know, they'll do the Bork into like a Wits End, just full attack speed type of stuff. But this guy, very, very smart player, went the Terminus so he can have some resistances. Then he went Stride Breaker, which gives him a, sh a bunch of health. More attack speed and attack damage. Like, this is such a solid build. And I think if you end up going Titanic, I think Titanic's really good with this build too. So if he ends up going to Titanic there, he becomes damn near unkillable with a whole bunch of damage and a whole bunch of sustain. So big shout out to the Warwick. Um, massive plays. I think we played the game pretty well. I think our one of our biggest mistakes was roaming down to the Fiddle. And like, where Fiddle and this Jarvan were fighting initially. And by the time I got there... I'm committed because their bot lane is already rotated. Zareth has me cut off as well. I could have potentially just left, but the enemy wouldn't have lost anyone and we would have completely lost. So I figured I'd just go for a kill on the Ash, at least trade one kill. Um, and they all got very far ahead of that. Like I was in the lane, I was ahead of this guy because we pushed him out early, right? Forced his TP and we we're a little bit ahead of him in CS and XP. But then after I died there, he caught up and was actually ahead of us. But overall, the game went very well. I feel like even with our bot lane, just doing as bad as they did, you know, feeding multiple members on the enemy team. We really brought that back in a good way. Uh, yeah, overall, very, very solid. I think that was an amazing last play for us. We managed to kill the Zareth because he was going to rotate to help his team, his uh, his jungler there in the jungle. And we got a nice fish on him, managed to dodge his stun as well, kill him. And then they made big plays on the top side of the map. I think they killed two or three people as well. And then we were just able to end. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Feels super good. Um, we have 21 LP, so we have a nice cushion now. Now we can afford to lose two games in a row. Not that we want to, uh, but we could lose two games in a row and then be at zero LP and potentially lose a third one. But that's not the, the game that we're trying to do. Um, we're going to try to climb up out of this, you know, gain some momentum, get in the winner's, you know, winner's uh, bracket here for a while. If we could rack up two or three more wins back to back, I definitely think... Diamond three, potentially diamond two will be viable or you know attainable. These diamond games definitely are much more frustrating. Um, and I can tell 
there's not as much room for error in terms of wave manipulation, falling behind people in XP. But I feel like we did really good this game um, in terms of you know staying in close conjunction CS wise with the with the Zareth who should be you know hyper clearing waves and just doing way more than we we do in terms of you know wave clear. But all in all, very good, very happy. Super, <laughs> a big, you know, weight off the shoulders, you know, no longer at zero LP. We are in diamond and we have some grinding to do, boys. But yeah, fellas, if you enjoyed that video, drop a like. If you're enjoying the content, I really do ask you to consider hitting that subscribe button. Helps push our content out to other people, get discovered and grow the community. And yeah, stick around for the next video.